Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is explain what this bit of string is. It's a common question that's asked, actually. Uh, in some of my videos, you'll probably see me pulling on this, and at other times just letting it go. Sometimes you might see in the back of the video there's heaps of it hanging out, and other times there's only a little bit hanging out. So I'm just going to try and give a quick description of pretty much what this is, and what it's used for. So this is what we'd call the VG row. Now, the purpose of this is to change the shape of the glider. And what we'll do is we'll pull this on. It's actually gonna change the shape of the whole wing behind me. Now, that's good. It can give us more performance. It can make us fly faster. It can make us fly further. Uh, it can also, as we let it off, it can make the glider fly slower and be a, have a little bit more uh, handling. So there's different times for using it uh, and different times to have it tight and times to have it loose. Now, if it was thermal in, uh, or if it was a bit rough and I needed to fly slow I'm in and out of thermals then I'm probably going to have this all the way off maybe just a little bit on if I've got to the top of a thermal and I'm high enough I want to glide across a valley what I'd actually do then is pull this on tight change the shape of that glider and it'd give me more performance to cross a valley a little bit quicker a little bit more efficient and that's the purpose of having it loose or tight now as I pull this rope on it runs through a, a series of pulleys it runs up this tube, the down tube, and it runs into this system at the top where it runs back and forth between a pulley system. Uh, that pulley system, it makes it easier for me to pull. If it was just a straight piece of rope that went to these crossbars, which I'm pulling back, I probably wouldn't have the strength to be able to pull it. Uh, you'll see as I pull these, it does it pull this, it changes the shape of the glider. You'll be able to see those crossbars moving backwards there above my head. There we go. So now there's heaps of rope here. As I let that off, those crossbars will move back. The wing will relax, and under normal flying conditions, this rope will go all the way back in, and those crossbars will move forwards. So I'll get ready for the takeoff now, and once I'm in the air, I'll give you a quick insight as to when I'm gonna pull this and why I would pull this. So whilst I'm on the takeoff, I'm just getting ready for the winter switch, and uh, I can see that Oh, you might be able to see there that the VG is just loose and it's just tucked over my Vario there just so I can't trip over this as I start to run. So I just hook that over that side. And then once you get flying, I'll give it a little pull just to pull a bit of tension on, just to get into a nice comfortable gliding position. Cool. So I've taken off, got the VG on fully slack, so give it a little pull. Just now I've got a little bit more speed, takes a bit of slack out of the sail. And now it's just me cruising along. Now, as I'm just cruising along, I feel the base bar wanting to move forward. That's the bar pressure that I'm feeling. Now, if I fly faster, that pressure's gonna increase. The bar's gonna move backwards, but the pressure's gonna increase. It gets harder to hold back. So I wanna fly in a straight line, nice and fast now. So what I'll do is I'll pull the VG on and you'll see those crossbars above me moving backwards. So as I start to crank on this VG here, those crossbars have gone back. You can really see that the shape of the glider, the shape of the wing has actually changed. Especially if you look at the other camera from the other angle from behind, if I let this VG off now, you're gonna see that the trailing edge, the back of the wing, is, uh, is gonna to totally change shape again. So it's getting later in the evening. There's no lift around at the moment. We're at the end of the cross country season here and I'm on the shady side of the hill. But it's good for just cruising around, doing some top to bottoms and practicing uh, takeoffs and landings, especially light wind takeoffs, light wind landings. It's good for that. So I don't mind getting out and spreading my wings, as you say. So the VG again, I've got it on just over half here. It's giving me plenty of agility moving around. If I need to turn the glider quickly, I can. It's also giving me a bit more performance as well. It's giving me faster speed, faster airspeed. 
and it's giving me more glide as well, so I'll actually be able to fly further faster than if it was to be fully off. And the bar's just resting comfortably here. It's not wanting to move forwards. It's not wanting to move backwards. It's nice and light. If I wanted to do some wing overs, I've got my VG on about three quarters. That's just so I can pull some more speed on as I dive. So a bit of VG is good for that. Quite a bit of VG is good for that. Just helps me have a bit more speed without the glider wanting to uh, nose up and pull this bar out of my hands forward. So it's good to have a bit on that. Fly a bit faster as well. And once you get to those faster speeds with a VG on, it does become a little bit more, a bit easier to handle, less pressure through the bar. And again, as I let that VG off, now you'll see those crossbars move again. There we go. Again, pulling the VG on, you'll see the shape of those crossbars moving. It's actually opening up the nose of the glider. So I'm gonna have a wider angle at the nose. And that's tightening the whole sail up. And yeah, as it tightens that sail up, again, gives me a considerable amount of performance gains. Now, as I'm coming for the landing, I'm gonna want a bit of VG on for a bit of speed, just for bit more control especially dropping through uh, the wind layers not that there's a lot of wind but it's good to come into land with a bit of speed the more speed more control so I'm gonna go with about half VG three-quarter VG on my uh, on my downwind and then I'll probably just let it off when I'm on my base leg and then I'll be landing I'll be landing with zero VG maybe just a little pull on I quite like it with no VG uh, if I have a bit of VG on a bit of tension on you just gave you a bit of a whippier a bit more of a snappier landing flare but uh, I'm now I'm going to be landing in pretty light wind you can see the wind sock and uh, I'm going to be landing uphill as well so I don't need to make a uh, massively abrupt, st abrupt stop VG off a little bit. There we go. Easy as that. Thanks for watching. That was a, just a brief description of what that VG rope is. I hope it answered a few questions. Uh, any other questions though, feel free and stick them in the comments there. I'm going to be making more hang gliding videos in the future as well. If you want to be kept up to date with them, you can hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I hope you join me on my next video.